Peace and love, fam. Welcome to the channel. It's your boy, my tell You know who it is. You know what I do. You know how I get down. Again, guys, we're going to get into some deep information right here. First of all, let me thank all of you who have been supporting me moving forward. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it, and I will continue to appreciate you and try to bring you the information that you need. For those of you who are new, thank you for joining the channel. Hopefully, you find what it is that I got to give. Is something that you can benefit from and hopefully you'll subscribe and hopefully you'll hit that thumbs up button all right guys for those of you who are ready to get into it let's get it in let's make it happen we're going to talk about progesterone today guys we're talking about progesterone today we talk about why we're going to talk about how to elevate the levels of progesterone in the body and we're going to talk about why progesterone is a key hormone in uh the well-being of the human physiology, particularly the female, all right? So, let's talk about what it is we want to do. Progesterone, we want to raise that progesterone levels. Most individuals are progesterone deficient, estrogen dominant. Now, estrogen is not a bad hormone. The body doesn't produce anything in and of itself that is bad. Estrogen is an absolutely necessary hormone. It's just that we live in a society where estrogen has become uh, dominant within the society with the estrogen mimicking compounds that we consume our food in from plastics, etc. The birth control field and a lot of these other synthetic estrogens that are being put out here, guys, really causing a whole lot of trouble with this human body, destroying us from the inside out. Uh, helping to proliferate cancer, etc. You name it, estrogen dominance is not good, but estrogen is not a bad hormone. And we'll explain that too, guys. All right, let's get it in. Let's talk about progesterone, how to elevate it, vitamin B6, vitamin C. Again, in another video, guys, I'll come back and I'll break down the sources of where you can get these things from. What you don't want to do is get synthetic vitamins, guys. So make sure the vitamins that you are getting are not synthetic we talk about zinc there are a lot of herbs that have great amount of zinc a lot of herbs that have magnesium and you can buy magnesium in and of itself but you want to make sure you're getting high quality it says that many of us in america are deficient in magnesium it's a whole lot of information a whole lot of benefit to having magnesium chase berry which is also known as vitex mexican yam which is a cream guys and this really has a uh great effect on producing uh, progesterone guys so these are the things that you want to get vitamin b6 vitamin c zinc magnesium chase berry and mexican yam i'm sure that there are others but these are the ones that i locked in on all right now again progesterone is key and to mental and emotional state of uh our being specifically and particularly in the woman so you want to try to make sure that we balance this progesterone out remember progesterone also is the precursor to estrogen to testosterone and into adrenaline all right so we want to make sure we get this progesterone and get it back to the levels that it needs to be progesterone should be here those other three should be here, guys, because progesterone is the precursor, meaning it is the producer of the other three. And we'll talk about cholesterol and pregnenolone, which are the precursor to progesterone. So if you're taking those cholesterol-lowering drugs, then you're probably going to have a problem with low progesterone, and then you're going to have issues that come with that. Now, let's talk about those who are still in the childbearing age uh how estrogen and progesterone works during the monthly cycle and why you should never put yourself on birth control pill because or anything that is doing away with the natural uh, uh functioning of this human system this physiology and everything else guys so let's talk about the monthly cycle for those of you who are not on the monthly cycle anymore those of you who have uh entered into um menopause etc 
again, you want to focus in on making sure you get an adequate level of these things I just, I, I just mentioned and that Mexican yam as well, all right? So let's talk about those who, of you who are. So month, day one, we're going through the 28-day cycles. What I did is I brought out the four um, particular days or times of the month where your levels of estrogen and progesterone are having a effect. So day one through seven, guys, day one through seven, progesterone, which is in the red, is low, and estrogen is low as well. Once you reach day seven, estrogen tends to rise, guys. That's because estrogen plays a key role in the development of the eggs and the preparing of the uterus to receive the egg to start that new life off correctly, guys. All right, so estrogen is very important and it is great for the body in its balance level. All right, so estrogen rises, progesterone stays low up into day 14. All right, so at day 14, Estrogen has reached its peak, its peak. It has developed the fully developed eggs, and now those eggs are ready to be taken up into the fallopian tubes. Now the key to this when it comes to progesterone is, once the fallopian tubes suck those eggs in, it creates what it calls a hole. And this hole is called uh, the corpus luteum. This is where corpus luteum is uh, being produced. Now, why is corpus luteum um, important? Because it is the main site of progesterone, progesterone production. So without the ovulation, without that cycle going the way it should go, then the body is not producing the hole that creates the corpus luteum and the main site of progesterone production. Again, this is another reason why when you interfere with the natural cycle, those levels of progesterone are low and you may be going through all types of emotional and mental uh, anguish, so to speak, all right? So now, when that is drawn up into the fallopian tube, it goes into the uterus and again, the blood supply is being fed to the uterus from the estrogen being dominant for those first 14 days. As the estrogen starts to drop off into day 26, progesterone levels are shooting up. Why? Because we just explained it, guys. That hole that was created from the fully developed eggs being ready to be sucked up into that fallopian tube, that creates the hole that creates the corpus luteum and now your main site of progesterone is being produced and it shoots up. So progesterone shoots up in the red and it stays high up until like day 26 and then on day 28 the cycle restarts. This is the normal cycle guys. So again you see how important that cycle is especially for you youngsters who are still able to, uh, uh, you are still in your child birthing uh, range of age and you need not to alter this if you want your hormones to be balanced, guys. I'm telling you, it's a lot to go into it. Just you taking that pill and thinking that you are not really affecting nothing but size, you not being coming pregnant. No, you're really messing with your mental and emotional health as well, guys. Also, let's talk about cholesterol real quick. Again, as you, I mentioned earlier, cholesterol is the producer of pregnenolone. Pregnenolone produces progesterone. Again, this is another site of where the progesterone is produced. The corpus luteum is a main site, but cholesterol and pregnenolone, those levels in the body need to be balanced and average and uh, adequate in order to produce progesterone, which in turn produces estrogen, testosterone, and adrenaline, all right? We need progesterone levels to be at a high level, and we need estrogen, testosterone, and adrenaline to be just underneath it because the progesterone 
produces those three. Again, guys, we'll come back and we'll talk much more deeper about estrogen. But remember, guys, you want to try to avoid estrogen mimicking uh, products in this society. You want to try to avoid the foods that have been um, given uh, or labeled as estrogen producing foods. And you want to try to avoid those things that are synthetic estrogens that produce more estrogen in the body. You want to add vitamin 6, vitamin C, zinc, magnesium, chaseberry, and mesquine yam in order to raise your levels of uh, progesterone, progesterone in the system, guys. So again, I broke down what it is that I wanted to explain to you about that. But the key and the bottom line is this, guys. You want adequate levels of progesterone. And in this society, many and most of us are deficient in progesterone because we have become estrogen dominant and we're engaging in activities that don't allow the body to produce the adequate amount of progesterone, which in turn doesn't produce the adequate amount of real estrogen, testosterone, and adrenaline. What you're getting is that synthetic estrogen that comes from the pills, that comes from the plastics, etc. And this is causing major, major damage in the body, guys. Major damage. Again, guys, we'll drop some more science. We'll drop something detailing estrogen in its fullness and explaining to you estrogen and breaking down those things that are estrogen mimicking and breaking down those things that can actually balance out estrogen and progesterone. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Peace and love. Peace and love. Remember to subscribe. Peace.